In the last video, we mentioned that the ultimate goal of, is to solve a recurrence relation and convert it into an explicit formula. That's what we're going to start looking into in this video. To do this, we're going to start by working out this recurrence relation and seeing if we can find a pattern at all. So a sub 1 is going to be using the recurrence relation we've been given. It's going to be a of, well, k is 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 3, which is going to equal, well, a sub 0 is 1, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. a sub 2 is going to be a, where 2, k is 2, so k minus 1, 2 minus 1 is a sub 1, plus 3, is going to equal uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. a sub 3, here we have a, k is 3, so 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 plus 3. This is going to be 7 plus 3 is 10. a sub 4. 4, k is 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 10, plus 3. So we can figure out the recurrence relation, and we can come up with the sequence, but I don't know that we're any closer to a pattern. We already knew that the sequence values were 3 apart. That was given to us in the recurrence relation. But I don't see enough of a pattern to come up with an explicit or closed form formula. For a closed form formula, you really want to find a pattern. And I knew that these were three apart. That's what my recurrence relation says. But how do we put that into an explicit formula? I'm going to show you a different approach. And this one isn't going to always work for all these problems, but it's going to work for a lot of them. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm not going to come up with the conclusion like we did here. Here we concluded with what the sequence value is. And while that's often what we want, it's not always what we want, especially when we're trying to come up with the closed form formula. So here, I'm going to come up with a sub 1, we already did this, this is a 0 plus 3. But I'm going to rewrite it without concluding this 4. So I'm going to stop by saying this is 1 plus 3. And I'm going to use that as the value for a plus 1, not 4, just 1 plus 3. So a sub 2 becomes a sub 1 plus 3. So I'm going to substitute 1 plus 3 for a sub 1 plus 3. And now a sub 3 is going to be a sub 2 plus 3, which is going to be this entire value, which is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus that new 3 that we just added in here. Okay, we're going to continue this. Wrong color. And I'm going to, so we're going to have 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, and then add the new plus 3. And notice that we can ignore these parentheses if we want. Let's see if I can erase this without getting rid of the 3s. There we go. So now you might be ready to see a pattern. If we have a sub 4, we have four threes plus a one. 
So a sub n would have a 1 plus n threes added together. Well, what's n threes added together? That's 3, oh, excuse me, yeah, 3 n's. And this is for all n greater than or equal to 1, because in an explicit formula, you have to specify the starting point of the sequence. Right? And this is only possible because we can notice a pattern of the number of threes correlating to the subscript below. But by ignoring the actual ending value here, this value is actually throwing us off. By ignoring that and just looking at the pattern that we get by substituting each value into the next, we can actually see a lot more about what's actually going on with the explicit formula. So we can come up with a nice definition for an explicit formula here. It turns out this kind of sequence is called an arithmetic sequence. So we have an arithmetic sequence exists if we have a recurrence relation where each value is equal to the previous value plus some constant. And that's exactly what we had on the previous page. We had each value is equal to the previous constant plus 3 with some starting value. Right? And so if we have that scenario, that recurrence relation, we're going to have an arithmetic sequence. And the arithmetic sequence, when we have um, d, constant d, that we add to it right here, this is going to be a1, the first value in the sequence, plus d times n. So in this problem, a1, or our first value in the sequence, was 1. And that's how we get this one right there in our D was three, right? Because that's the value that got added to it.